I got to um, go speak at the DRC again today, and uh, you know it's a motivational thing. It's kind of a, and it's not preaching as much as it is, you know. Let's get busy. Let's let's make something out of your life. You know, you are who you are because purpose. God's got a purpose for you. You're not an accident. God's got a reason for you being here. And you look at your life and where you are now, you don't like where you're at, you can change it. That's the great thing about being human, having life, you can change it. All you got to do is change your attitude. All you got to do is change your thinking. I'm up there talking, I'm saying, look guys, you can change your life. We've all made mistakes. We've all done things that we're not proud of. We're, we've all stumbled. We've all fallen, but don't stay down. Guy raises his hand. You ever been to prison? Now all these guys have been to prison. It's a Alabama Board of Pardon and Parole. And and I said, no, why? He said, well, I just wondered. And see, a guy asked me that the first week. And he said, you ever been to prison? That's when I said, no, I, I started preaching at Cook County Jail in Chicago. You remember me from there or something? But <laughs> Just cutting up with him. But, uh, you know, this guy, I said, why, why are you worried about being in prison? Why are you worried about what happened in the past? That's the past. You ain't in prison now. You can forget that. Get over it. Get over what happened to you in the past and stop whining about where you are now because of something that, well, I've been to prison. That's why I told him. I said, look, man, you can't go forward looking backward. Sure, you messed up. Everybody messes up from time to time. People do things that are stupid. We all do things that are stupid, but don't let it stop. Well, I've been to prison. Well, get up and don't go again. He said, I've been five times. I said, five times? I said, that your fault? And I was making a point. He said, no, somebody ratted on me or something like that. And that guy's going back. He'll go back until he takes responsibility. You got to own it. If you went to prison, nobody snuck up on you and just threw you into prison for a wrong reason. I know, I know there are times when somebody's been lied about and falsely accused. And, and if you, if that happened to you, you're going to get out of prison and get a whole bunch of million dollars. And I sure hope you tithe on it, make the check out to Meadow Drive Baptist Church. But until then, you got to take responsibility for who you are, where you are. You know, I've been, I've been in prison. So what? Who cares? I got hit by a car. I've been shot. I've been mauled by a dog. I've had a lot of things that have happened in my life, but I ain't worried about it. It's over. It's done. It's past. Take what happened in the past and go for it. For crying out loud, quit my There's a tear in my beer because I'm crying for you, dear. I was locked up once in jail. Who cares? Get over it. Get over it and go for it. I think I'm going to talk Sunday. I'm, I'm going to work this into the message because I got so fired up about it. Daniel, Moses, Joseph, all of them ended up in captivity or ended up messing up somewhere on the shelf either because of something they did or something somebody else did to them. Joseph was lied about. Uh, Daniel, the nation, went into captivity. And Moses killed a fella. Whatever the reason... That's no excuse for you not to be serving the Lord and not to go forward and not to make something out of your life. Get over the stinking sorry excuses and realize that every day is a new day. Well, I just get up. I just first thing I think about in the morning when I get up is I've been to prison. Well, you going back? Because <laughs> I mean, you, you must like it so much. You thinking so much about it. I told them today. I said, look, fellas. Nobody's paying me to come here. I didn't come here to sit here and stand up here and watch you sleep waiting for them to make a new bed at the prison so you can go back. And then the gals, <laughs> she was fussing with somebody. And she's fussing about down at Tuckweiler, how they did things at Tuckweiler. Well, you're not in Tuckweiler anymore. It's time to put on your big girl panties and start doing what's right. It's time. Now, now, now you guys, don't put on your big girl panties. Put on your big boy britches and do what's right. For crying out loud, let's get over the mistakes we've made. Now, let's get over the times when people have lied to you. You know, life is not fair. It's not going to be fair. It is not fair. And so what you've got to do is you've just got to decide, I'm going to, the bumps of what you climb on, I'm just going to do right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the best of my life. Read a book. Have a good attitude. Have a positive attitude. It's all going to work out if you, it'll work if you'll work it. It'll work if you'll work it. If you'll go, it'll go. I feel mean spell coming on just thinking about it. I better quit right there. Say amen right there.